Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at another executor which is currently working with the latest version of the Hyperion update on the Microsoft Store version. So as always, I do suggest watching the video to the very end so you don't miss any of the important steps and let's get right into it. So the very first thing that you will need before you get started with using the executor is to downgrade to the previous version of Roblox. So I will show you how to do that. So you will need to download the previous version, which will be linked in the description below. Once you've downloaded it and you go ahead and open that up, it will look something like this. From there, go ahead and click on reinstall and click reinstall once again. Once you've done that, you are now ready to use the executor. But before you download the executor, you need to go ahead and disable your antivirus. So let's go ahead and do that. So if you're in Windows 10, go ahead and click on the icon over here. And if you're on Windows 11, it's going to be right there and search for virus and threat protection. Once that does open, go into manage settings and turn off the real time protection at the very top. This step is very important. You will be able to turn this back on in a little while, but for now it needs to be turned off. Otherwise the executor will not work. Once you've turned that off, go into the first link in the description, which will take you to my website. Once you've gone over to the website, go ahead and click on the download button, which will take you to this page over here. From there, go ahead and complete these steps and it will take you to the final download for the executor. From there, go ahead and click on download now and choose wherever you wish to install it for me i'm going to choose my desktop and then go ahead and run the download manager and it should take a couple of seconds and it should open up just like this from there go ahead and click on next and it's completely up to you if you wish to install any of these and once you have completed it it will give you the download link go ahead and copy the download link paste it into your browser and you have now downloaded the executor now if for any reason your browser blocks the download as you can see right here simply go ahead and press down control and press j and that will open up your downloads folder. From there, you can go ahead and approve the file just like that. Once you've done that, we need to extract the file. So to do that, right click it and click extract all and click extract. There we go. So once it creates a new folder for you, you can now go ahead and delete both of the previous files. So there we go. Let me go ahead and close out of that and also delete that. And there we go. So once you've got the Electron folder, you need to go back into Virus and Threat Protection. Go into Manage Settings once again. Scroll down until you see Exclusions. Go ahead and click on Add or Remove Exclusions. From there, go ahead and click on Add an Exclusion and choose Folder. And from there, go ahead and just single click the Electron folder and click Select Folder. Make sure it's been added to your Exclusions. Once it has, you can go back up and turn on your real-time protection if you wish to do that at this point. So you pretty much installed the executor and you have downgraded your Microsoft version of Roblox. And at this point, you are now ready to use the executor. So let's go ahead and double click the executor folder and let's go ahead and open up Electron. If it's your first time opening it, it will give you this alert right here. It is completely safe. You do not have to worry about anything in terms of that. You simply go ahead and click on more info and click run anyway. And from there, go ahead and click on yes, and that will start the Electron Executor for you. Now, if it's your first time using it, it will ask you to generate a key. So as you can see, it has installed everything. Now, it will ask you to generate a key if it's your first time using it. You can watch my previous videos to see how that is done. Now, at this point, you need to close Electron. Make sure Electron is closed when you go into Microsoft Store. So let's go ahead and go into Roblox. And there we go. So once you've loaded into Roblox, you can now go ahead and open Electron once again and let it completely load up and there we go so as you can see it has now loaded and we can now go ahead and click on attach and that should attach the executor to roblox as you can see it is now working and let's go ahead and load into a game and try out a script to make sure that it does indeed work so we just loaded into a random game over here and let's go ahead and click on execute and as you can see the infinity yield does work so i can go ahead and for example turn on fly and as you can see it does work perfectly fine and that's pretty much it for the video guys if you do have any questions you can join my discord server linked down below and hopefully you did like the video if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching